It shows up now the uh the game though. <laughs> oh, they can they can hear us? No, I think they're saying no audio though. Hello, hello, hello. I don't hear us in the YouTube. Yeah, Red says there's no audio. No, oh, now audio. They can hear us now. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot higher. Large test, huge test, massive test. All right, uh, yeah, let, let's tell him to start it up then. All right, that's an awesome PFP. I love that shy guy, dude. Send that to me, I want that. Oh man, oh man. All right, hey everybody. We're here for uh, a beautiful match uh, on this fine summer day uh, for the final grand finals of NFL Summer Split. I'm Nick the Wales, and my lovely co-commentator. Oh, that's me, a, a pool boy. Yeah. Well, as um, a master of words, in a word, a just the way he can move his tongue and make sounds with the English language always ceases to amaze me. Uh, Dude, I just wanted to point out, it's not necessarily summer. Like in Australia, it's winter. So that's why I was so baffled. I didn't know what uh, to say. I mean, you're, you're normally right. so on the ball, but hopefully the players are more on the ball um, than, they, than, than you today in this uh, ball, ball-based ball game. Uh, the pun, the puns are coming. Uh, I'm sorry for being so ethnocentrist of me. That is ridiculous, and I apologize. It is called Summer Split, though. Um, and our two competitors... Our close in the Northern Hemisphere, we have Pied facing off, coming from loser's bracket from the United States of America, the cream team, uh, repping that as his club. And we have Xander G from the Netherlands coming um, in on the winner's bracket, and he's repping Chaos Edge, I believe, uh, as his club. Dude, get, get like a millimeter closer to the mic. Uh, I can I'm, I'm, tell I'm telling them now before, before they actually get into it. Speaking uh, of is this any better? Mm, I can talk a little play. bit. Give me like a Red Hot Chili Peppers song, a little bit. Oh, tell me, baby. No, I can't sing. So that's yeah, that was you yeah. You are you are closer. I, I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. Um, they haven't really started playing yet, and I don't really know if any of this is making it into uh, you know, yeah, go. Uh, Adam was wait. Yeah, <laughs> he was waiting for us to tell him. Oh, whoops. Play. And that's on us. Um. Yeah, so I think uh, Xander's going to start with pick here. Uh, he is coming from winner's bracket, and this is, since it was a double elimination, uh, Pied will have to win two best of seven sets, while Xander only will require one best of seven set win to win grand final. Nukes, I think the real competition here is, um, have you ever listened to My Brother, My Brother and Me? Hmm. Do, do you know the song My Brother, My Brother and Me? I haven't. Uh... No, I'm not very good at song, uh, as evidenced by my music league scores. Um, but you know, mm. I'll keep trying. They, they are abysmal. They are abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes you got to do it for the bit. Everybody loves a little bit of Veggie Tales, even if they don't vote for it. I know in their minds they did. I understand that. No, sweetie, I, I have not uh, listened to it. Um, what is it? Uh, oh, oh, he told he told me it's a podcast, not a song. No, Nuke is kind of more of the uh, the podcast guy. But um, yeah, so I do so enjoy Xander the so Xander got picked there in the beginning because the higher seed. So he's going 
Is he going Peach? Is that it? Or is that Pike uh, uh, doing that? I would assume he's going Stadium. Uh, and then because we do, we still do the, in the first, for the, only for the first game it goes, you switch off. So I'm assuming he picked Stadium, Pied would have mm-hmm. picked Home, knowing that Xander is probably just going to pick his favorite Mario, leaving um, Pied to pick Peach. But I guess we will know from, um, Pied is P1, so we will know once they, they go to the controller select, and it is looking like Pied is the Peach. Where do you think Xander's taking Pied for game one? Oh, and he's going Verda. Oh. Well, I got a little worried there. <laughs> um, hmm. I would probably guess underground. Underground? I, I yeah. would have thought uh, a palace, just with how good Pied is um, tech-wise on the chips. Uh, Xander is no thoughts on tech, but I think he prefers that more of a kind of volume-based shooting game. No, Nuke, uh, you're on to me. It was all a setup, you know. I, uh, I I deliberately answered wrong so that you could say palace. That was definitely uh, what just happened there. Wow. You know, this, and this is just the chemistry we got. It's, you're, you're giving me questions. You're, you're setting me up. I'm spiking <laughs> it down. Oh, man, it's wonderful. Did you uh, say spiking yeah, it yeah. down because you know that I play volleyball? You know I do. I wanted to give you the reference. I, I know you. I know you. Uh, <laughs> Getting into it. So, yeah. So, just to reiterate, uh, it's going to be a long match, really, however you look at it. And like Nuke said, Xander, um, oh, oh, no. Oh! 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 Oh, I, I don't really know what to say there. Long. I, already a breakaway is, palace ship with a shroom? A, a two seconds into the match. This is the hard part about commentating good players, because you're mid-sentence, and you're like, oh, I have time to commentate, and then they just do hype stuff like that. Great shot by Xander, way to open the match up immediately. It looks like he was looking for a stun there. It's just abusing these mushrooms right now, Nuke. Yeah, oh, I'm using Mario. Oh, and in the mo- took it stuck in the animation. Oh, so far this is an extreme. He, he, got, he got refroze, new. He got refroze. That he shell. got refroze. Oh my. Yeah, god. The, the, the shell came back. Oh my gosh. The great recognition by Xander and Pied. Uh, Xander was looking for the Mario down there, and I kept the beat down there. He's gonna go for the cross and perfect pass. Oh, not enough. Xander loves yeah. to hit. Um, this is your first time watching or 80th time watching Xander G. Um, you will quickly see that he loves to hit. And, um, and you'll also see he's very good at dodging items. Like, uh, he gets those passes off from the shortest windows. And another crazy angle on the start there. I can already see a loop for him. Yeah. But exactly what you were saying, Cool. I 100% agree. You will see a lot of bits by Xander this game. Lots of items to buy. Absolutely. I mean, Xander, very, like, quantity-based player, too. And we're kind of seeing, like, that stifling hide right now, right? Hide hasn't had that many shot attempts, and... Xander's kind of following this meta of shoot a lot, get a lot of items, and then use those items to produce good uh, level shots. And that was really interesting there, and uh, something that's kind of unique to Palace was that you didn't really guard the chip spot because, you know, you can't, it's hard to chip on Palace. So he was kind of just guarding the perfect path. Hmm. And already with the guard. Doubles back? Somehow manages to get that off. Uh, but Pied's Toad is stuck behind the frozen Mario, so he's not able to capitalize on that. Yeah, and I think that's a, it's commendable. Xander gives up. Oh, oh wow. He used what? that the last second. Go in. The oh, last second possible. Then the he bomb was... He cut the he goes for this. Oh, that was, that would have been dirty. He wanted that. would have been dirty. Back. That would have been dirty. That would have been like the, the, the hamper in my, uh, the corner of my room. Would have been dirty. <laughs> oh, the great, great use of the track. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, Xander doing stuff? Oh, oh, oh great. Very smart oh, shell there, Nick. Yeah. I think if he doesn't use that shell, he, uh, it might be three to one. <laughs> yeah, and uh, on Palace, you don't score a lot of goals, so going down two is, is, is a tough place to be. So, sure reaction. Yeah. Oh. Ah. I mean, you gotta he, be- he correctly used his item there, but it just didn't, like, work out, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, um, well... Xander, they're just looping him now, but I, I think that's uh, Xander's yeah. another thing to really get at is being second to the ball. So he's going to win those slides. He's very good at timing those slides. So he'll always be the one coming out on top. And that's, that's like really there. important to point out, Nuke. I mean, yeah, just because like you can get to the ball first, it doesn't mean you always want to in a toss-up situation because whoever slides second is going to get the ball. So it's yeah. kind of important to point out uh, to the viewers there. Um, while we were talking, we, uh, we eclipsed the two-minute mark and... Uh, Xander has gone up 4-1 with Pied having no items here. 
Not even. Ooh, oh, he dodges oh, the item, but oh, and oh, just it's those. Jen is so good at it. It's those. Those shells just never seem to reach oh, him. Oh, not another one. I didn't think it was possible. Wow. Two of his five goals. Correct me if I'm wrong. If that's forty percent, have gone in off of the breakaway chips. Yeah. And that's, I mean, he's hit more tech here than uh, Xander is, or than five. Five uh, just isn't getting yeah. the opportunities, I think, dude. Exactly. Like, right here. Well, he's he got a great one right here. He's going for a slide. Mm. Just a little bit short. Xander with the perfectly kind hit to jump those shells. Of course. Of course. Uh, and that's just, I mean, you go for the slide, and I think you wait until the breakaway chip to try to get an item. Use your kinda, yeah, a little bit late on it. Oh, man. And, uh, Perry came out pretty far there. Exactly. Another thing we haven't talked about is the buffer that both players are playing on. It's going to make your inputs come out a little bit later than you're thinking about. That's very true, Nuke. I know that Pied has kind of been practicing for this by sometimes playing in net play sessions just by himself or with others where he's had the buffer a lot higher than you would against you know, other NA players. So, yeah, not going to go in, but it's definitely going to take some time off the clock. Yeah, and, uh, it's gonna be tough for Pi to come back. I think you might start thinking about just, hey, let's let's figure out what's gonna work, uh, and like, and that's looking like, oh, oh that's, what? how does that not go in, man? <laughs> that's, you know what? If you if that one's not going in, it's better to not go in when you're down four with thirty seconds left than uh, die again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, save the luck for later, maybe. But, yeah. Yeah, I. Well, as this game kind of comes to its conclusion, Nuke. Oh, 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 oh. And said, Hurry "Hold up, up. I'm gonna let you finish the game, yeah. but I gotta make a nice shot first. Yeah, you, and you can never let us finish the sentence, apparently. He really does. He's like, maybe he's listening. I don't know. That's not <laughs> possible because it's it's delayed. So, uh, but yeah, Xander G. Uh, w from Winner's side, winning this first game six-one. We didn't really get to see the stats there." unfortunately, um, but it probably would have been Xander honestly probably out shooting Pi 100%. So. I don't know if there were staff and time possession, but if there were, I think I'm Xander would have won a lot. Yeah, pipeline. Uh, pipeline, yeah. I think it's even slightly more friendlier than um, Underground, but they are the sister stadium of being a good in-between of not being crazy. Everything goes in like Bowser and Crater, and not nothing goes in like Tonga and Pell. Yeah, I mean, um, this is a this matchup. Today's matchup is kind of in the community been talked about as as tech versus uh, limited tech, right? Which which one will prevail here? Because Pied is kind of the representative of uh, he's kind of the avatar of tech, right? Right, new guy. Yeah. He kind of possesses the ability to perform all tech at a high level. And, you know, we saw Xander hit tech last game, but I think he's more known for what we talked about, right? Shoot a lot. Get items, rebound. Um, he prioritizes that. So yeah, and he can use those that high pressure uh, system to set up, uh, you know, effects. And he's not, yeah, as we as you said, not bad at it, but uh, definitely prefers that. And yeah. um, absolutely. So this is gonna, this is probably honestly like a pretty pivotal point as far as the meta goes, and which can prevail here. And I know. You know, last time these two players played Nuke, Xander won 4-0 in, in pretty dominating fashion. So, this is kind of like a... I say what? I have not seen that angle I go in. Generally, that when it hits off like that, it, it hits out, not in. Yeah. You know? But, um... You know the Konami codes. You can... You can do anything. <laughs> and you see how he phases through those blue shells uh, almost perfectly. Uh, that's a, I think that's a tiny thing that you can replicate. It seems like you can because Xander does it all the time. Uh, yeah. I have played, there... played other players that do it too, you know. Uh, yeah. Connor Hagerman is really good at, you know, navigating between shells. Um, there are players that just have a feel for it, so. Yeah. Um, it is I like to hold his freezy on. here until he's on offense, and he does, and it falls. Great job. Great little gut out there to avoid the room. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, he came back after missing that first chip attempt and went right back at the second. Ooh, Pi might have something here. He's got the shroom to work with. Looks like he's going to take it back to the corner, doesn't. And he's going to... Oh, he's... Oh, again? Yes. That's twice now. With the uh, taking the Boeing bird training. You play like a Legend CPU, you'll see them do that and they'll get it. Oh. Got it. Yeah. 
Because Xander is yeah. so on top of those rebounds. You just got to hit sometimes. I know um, some people like to hold an item basically just specifically to hold on for defense for his uh, rebounds. Yeah, and Xander G is really the guy to, to beat and to figure out here. I mean, it seems like he has leads the, the game in um, just <laughs> decision-making. Every decision yeah. he makes, you might think, oh, that's not going to work, or that's not right. And then a few seconds later, or a few plays later, he kind of shows you the fruits of it. Well, and right there, Pi tried to play the, the Xander style of, of high hit, and he just gave up a goal and two items there. Uh, I, it's uh, it's a it's a play style that Xander's been really good at, and it's really hard to pull off. It's not it's not replicatable. Like you see, Pi now electing to go for all of these hits to, um, that's what Xander's been doing. But yeah. Anyway, we're more than halfway through with this game. Um, anyone just tuning in? This is grand finals of MSL Summer Split. Xander G coming from Winterside leads 1-0 and is the Mario. Um, so Pied is down 3-1 in this game. As the item, though, the, sh uh, the sh I said shiny like we're in Pokemon. <laughs> Spiky shell to get it done here. And I think he'll have a corner attack. Oh, no, that Toad was watching him. Good find there. It's so close oh, at the gym. Oh, no, no way. No. He had the peach there and just hold on the whip there on it the bouncing just, ball. It was on the last pixel to be a goal. I mean, really. You can't ask for much more than that. Fall. Yeah. Oh, man. Pi's doing the right stuff. It's just not paying off at the same rate that it has been for Xander this game. The corner's yeah. not falling, the chip rebound, was it wasn't going in, and mm, I think if Xander makes one of those overhead dinkers, Noof, that would just be a emotional seal-off. That might. I think, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he goes for that aggressive angle there. Uh, he's, that was an aggressive he's... angle. It would, it, was, it would be more of a surprise if that had gone in, frankly. Um, yeah, yeah. He's, you can make him from around that spot, but that that one was even very tight for Boston. Good heads uh, up there, knowing that if you went any further... No! Oh, that must have been buffered. No, he buffered oh. it! He buffered oh. it! Oh, no. Must have been trying to switch to the toad by mashing A and the buffer. Just uh, yeah. gets you sometimes. You did what this you do is... to your 1992 Nissan Skyline. You buffer it. I mean, just to keep the color looking good, but this is not a scenario where you want to be doing that. So, anyway... And he's got to get a goal quickly now. He's got my hair the oh, again. Oh, jeez, Pi is got to rip it off right now. Short here, he can definitely get something new. I think he's going for the slide. He does. Yep, that's got. Oh. It doesn't fall. He's, he's gonna have. He has time. Here. He has. He can get the corner here. Okay, okay. so he's got to. Xander now can't. Two items. Now, two items. He's got to probably pop one here. Xander's gonna. Oh, very smart. Oh, he missed. Very smart he missed play by Xander. Oh. Xander so commonly goes for that uh, overhead shot from the corner, and Pied was waiting for it, and that was a really good read by Xander to come down with that ball. Xander was like, big brain Pied there. I don't know about you, Noob, but that was not what I was expecting his kickoff strategy to be. But Not at all. That was such a risk to come down with the ball. There's so much ad lag when you come down with the ball in the air, so that could have easily been a turnover in a corner shot. So, uh, absolutely crazy Pied. I'm sure he was raging after that buffered input. Um, <laughs> so he wants to just run it back. No, no ball. Just get back up. We see. Oh, the red shell. Oh, that's a good angle. angle. That's, that's a good that angle. That is a good one. Yeah, yep. that was an aggressive angle, but it was better for uh, um, <laughs> than his other aggressive angles we've seen. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah Pied's uh, probably one of the best ones at hitting it from that kind of baseline angle. Uh, mm. And yeah, uh, and he's got the piece here on the breakaway. Good to hold oh, him. You hear ball. that? You see that? It, yeah, it, it made contact with the ball. So uh, Xander leads the set count 2-0. Um, <laughs> if a lot of things, if honestly, if just a few things went different last game, it would have you know, won one, but. SMS is a game of margins, so Europeans it. Oh, just a little bit too though. close. Oh no, and if that one goes, then this is wow. Uh, Pi missed on the, the that line twice now, and Xander gets to pull that one in, and that's just 
that's yeah. part of the, I think the place we're playing Xander, he plays this so many shots, some of those thinkers are going to go in, and it sometimes feels like you're playing against the uh, the RNG and him. Yeah, he, um... But, uh, Xander ha having item advantage here, he's going to have a few options. He goes with the aggressive chip. Aggressive, not because it was far away, but actually aggressive because it was kind of close and off position. It's been kind of different. Yeah. What we normally say. Those bombs get there in time, but it wasn't hard enough knockdown to not be. Right, Xander was not in hard knockdown, so he was able to use those triple shells, so it all just kind of traded. And oh no, on the wrong side, he's got the toad there. He oh, almost had the ability to insta shot there, Nuke. That's kind of the benefit of like doing an insta shot, where you don't have a lot of time to pull that off. But, yeah. Um, he was on the wrong side, so. <laughs> oh, oh, a weird bounce from the ball. Dude, perfect trick shot happening, but it does <laughs> not work out. Oh, man. I don't know if anyone remembers so there we see that Pi's burning that item there to just make sure that Xander doesn't get the rebound opportunity. He's got the... Oh, wow. Wait, does he have that? Does he have that? Holy shoot. Nuke, that was insanely close. For as much as Critter has been... Oh. Okay. I have to say... And this is, as I, I think I've said a couple times, Xander has a way of getting answering back so easily. So easily. It seems like it's a guarantee once you get some momentum, Xander is able to just steal that back. Just have to dice it back in my long run. It sucks up everything. Anyway. I, I was going to say. You, I yeah, I was going to say that um, that was really like, for all like that Critter has kind of not been benefiting um, Hyde. I mean, the ball to get that close in it. Uh, you gotta know the bombs are gonna come slow. And... Did the did the bomb influence the trajectory or did it just naturally go in there? I couldn't tell. Honestly, maybe on replay, you know, it, how, the bomb... like, you know how like bombs like pop the ball up and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I could have yeah, definitely so... seen that. I was wondering that myself, but... <laughs> My own, I feel like it could have happened, but it had a trail at the end of it, and if a bomb does influence trajectory, it gets rid of the trail. Um, oh, he's got a great opportunity here. That's, this it, that's could it. be a pivotal moment. Yeah, that's yeah, a great. For, that's a textbook slide. For for the you know for all of Xander's shots this game that have gone in, his goals, right? You know the the dirty European, and then the the kind of sliver into the goal from the goal line. Pi is still winning this game, Nuke. I mean, this could easily he could easily take it here. You just got to be disciplined at the end and not, um, what's it called? Not ease up. You can't become complacent just because you're up 4-3, right? And I think that's exactly something. what you were talking about that, and then Pi just takes him, you know, a cheap shot overhead, doesn't get an item, and that's exactly how you could get looped um, and kind of lose momentum in this game. Oh, man, that's pretty, pretty looks far looks like away. a good, perfect pass. Yeah. A tie all, game here. Man. Yeah, a minute left. And again, he's just turning over possession here. Xander's going to get a corner shot with the item. Is it going to be blocked oh, by the blue shell? I thought I thought the shell might have actually, um, and, you know, done, done some work yeah. here, but it didn't. Oh, that took us down too, Noob. Uh, no, just no. barely misses the rebound. Some great movement there to avoid the shells, but uh, yeah. with you have know, 40 seconds left, two goals, definitely still possible, but this cannot go in for you. Good block there. Oh, and Pod actually generates a shot from it, too. Doesn't have an item, but Nuke, the next time he shoots, he will get an item. Xander's got two, though, to get this rebound no way, opportunity, no and that might put it away. I knew. I knew he'll get an item the moment he shoots here, but he didn't. Uh, resets on uh, goals. Oh, does it? Thank you. I didn't yes. know that. Uh, no. And if you didn't, well, we just saw some empirical evidence that it does. But you have Pi's just trying <laughs> exactly. to get something in. Um, empirical evidence. Something, everybody. Oh, oh, now he's got his stream, let's see. Oh, he doesn't have anything. Oh, man. And, Nuke, this is heartbreaking, kind of, because I we talked about, like, he was up 4-3, and somehow Xander just in the last minute manifested double the amount of goals he had up to that point. Yeah, I kind of yeah. quickly rematches here. Um, uh, I, I like that. Yeah. I think you you controlled pace for most of that game. Uh, you know, some lucky thoughts that you you hope won't go in this game. You can't really do anything about that. And you're not going to change another stadium. This is the stadium. You fix this stadium. You're comfortable on. 
Right. Like he he played well the last game. Like I I genuinely yeah. don't think Pied really did anything wrong, quote unquote. Um, and they're just what? What was that angle? <laughs> yeah, not very, that tucked into the right corner, even for the, the offense. Like whizzed Great. by Critter's hand, and then was yeah. it was like you know that that scene in uh, Wanted or Wasted or whatever that movie where they curved the bullet. <laughs> it's kind of oh. like that. He like curves it around the Critter's hand, and then it came back in. If someone in YouTube knows what that was called. It has Angelina Jolie in it? What was that? Like? That uh, the corner shot that really aided Xander in the last game, not going in there. And then the overhead that was aiding Xander is aiding Pied now. So Pied goes up quickly 2-0 um, the minute in this game. He's trying to get that steady dad of overhead and maybe trying to play a little bit like Xander. And be kind of feeding right into Xander's game. If he forces people to play like him. Uh, that high Austin style just getting off a little dinker shot. Wow. Uh, that was great defense. Uh, you see how he brought the toad that wasn't guarding the ball with a double team? <laughs> <laughs> that's so like conniving man it's so smart yeah. i love it yeah you can you can make sms as deep as you want by, by doing defensive stuff like that and probably get and the first pass to fall yeah using some wall tech there on the dribbling to stop his momentum immediately you normally take a little bit when you're dribbling but not on the wall so uh, you can really good recognition back like that good that was a nice nice way to point that out in your guy actually hadn't realized that initially but you're right that is what contributed to that goal so um and they're gonna be coming down here. It's a little bit of a no. What? Oh, that was oh, such a great, I'm such a smart play, Nuke. Neat breakaway chip. Xander's Eat. recognition on where Critter is is great. No one, no one breakaway chips at no, the not a rate that not Xander again. does. How is he finding these? What? How is he finding these? Just breakaway. I was saying it. Oh, Why man. is Critter out so far? That is a great oh. recognition. And oh, he's gonna get another one again. Oh my God. This is how a quickly that must can turn. See, now Pod has to turn the ball over right there. Uh, right. Oh, thank God those didn't hit Peach. Yeah, that was came bad. back and gave him a really huge deficit. But he's got the Peach wide open down this there. Should be a chip. This should be a goal. Freddy was a little oh. bit out, I think. So it, uh, it went, he, he went too far in, dude. He, he went yeah. like, past the circle spot and then came back. Um, a little bit shaky on the test, which is surprising. Yes. Yeah, now it's 3-all with officially half the game done. And just to remind everyone, since this is a best of seven and Xander's up 3-0, if Pi loses this game since he's coming from loser's side, that's it. Pi loses grand finals and does not get to play another game. Yes, uh, you bring a good uh, up a good point. This is you or die for him right now. Yeah. Uh. Right, Pied has the resources. Oh, oh man. just hits the ball, and now Xander's got the room to work with here on offense. All right, yeah, you just take that shot at oh, that point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You cannot come down with that ball if you turn over. Similar scoreline from last game, Nuke, where it was 4-3, and we were talking about how Pied needs to keep the, the pedal to the floor, if that's the saying. Um, oh, great moving ball to <laughs> to get it. There. That was wow. kind of cool, Nuke. After that interaction, the shell came back, hit the ball right into Peach's vicinity, which allowed Pi to clear it. <laughs> if the he, shell he hadn't done that, the toad, he blocks it again. The corner to the uh, corner shot again. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Wow. Critter for Pi and the Dinkers right now. This game is. Uh... It's a, this is so weird. Xander said, what, three chips? And Pied said a couple dinkers. This is not uh, how we expect Xander Pied to go. But but this could be a corner opportunity. Oh, great read. Nice. Great Xander brings up the other... To, yeah. Great job by Pied there to not, like, fully try to get the charge shot. Like, he recognized the slide would work even though it wasn't fully charged. And you see he baited Xander's toad up that was covering the peach because Xander tried to double the uh, the classic item off the kickoff corner, corner shot. And that's what left mm. the peach open. But as we are talking, uh, Xander scores another goal and gets an item. Gets two items. This could be a corner shot oh, and a tie man. game. Oh man, this is a oh, goal ooh. probably. Yeah. Oh, just on the, the edge. The way Xander G is playing right now, I mean, when he walks down that field, you don't have an item. The, you know, he's probably scoring. It's inevitable. It feels inevitable. Yeah. Man, this is this is scary. Uh -oh, this oh no, this is scary. No, no way, no way. Oh. 
thought that was it, man. Oh my gosh. I thought Mario was somehow going to find the ball and this just could be put it, though. it in. This could be it. Oh, man. Right as the red fawn appears, Nuke. The energy got 30 goes seconds up seven, to find six. an equalizer. Going for the European. Doesn't get it. Doesn't oh, have the peach man. down there. Let's see if Xander he's throws up the freezy shells. Oh, it comes oh, down man. with it. it. Comes down with it again. This is like suspenseful because Xander's just holding them, and it's like making pie. At least it's making it's me. He's, it's making me question when he's going to use it. That wow. Oh no! Oh, he's going to off the shell. You, you've got to burn the shells oh. right now. You've got to burn every item you have in your oh. in the tank, and that looks like that's going to be no it. Way. Another. Yeah. And we're pausing here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe they're thinking if that was stalling, which I don't think it was, but, you know, you were just going back for a point. No, I don't think it was. After all. But to get the yeah. Citrus replay, you have to make sure that you let the match actually end yeah. there. Oh, gosh. Oh, um... I have to say, the two end games that Xander played with the mind games, holding those gels and coming down with the ball, uh, the other close match he had, just, it was, I was just waiting for Xander to play like he normally does, and he mind gamed him there. Uh, Pi played well, but at the end of the day, new Xander G. Um, each game he played, he came he came away with more goals. So, uh, once again, Xander G. wins uh, the MSL split of the season. This one being 2020 summer split, uh, 4-0 fashion. So, congrats to Xander G. Uh, played well and great job to Pi um, for advancing back from losers into grand finals. So. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It was a pleasure to watch. A lot of, a lot of really fun goals. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, that's that summer split for you. And we'll have, uh, we'll be back again in the uh, in the fall for the final split for qualifying for the winter championship. Yep. Have a good one, everyone. Bye bye.